What is going on everyone? Nico Lint here and today's video is going to be really short and easy about how to properly clean your boat and I'm doing this because I have seen so many people clean their boat incorrectly and do things that are detrimental to the boat, to the fiberglass, to the paint, to the gel coat, all of the above. But before I start, I do want to make one really quick announcement. If you look behind me, our property here actually has two more lifts. We have this lift we're on with the 41 Bahama. There's a lift directly in front of it that has my 18 foot flat boat on it. And then the furthest one that way has a roof over it. It has my uncle's brand new 23 reef runner. Really, really awesome boat. But that middle lift that has my flats boat, that boat's gonna get put on a trailer and go live in a garage somewhere. That's big thunder. Because we have a brand new boat coming to the channel. It's a really awesome boat. You guys are really, really gonna enjoy what it is. I'm not gonna tell you just yet because I wanna make kind of a reveal video um, about it, but it's a collector's item boat and you're really, really gonna like it. If you like boats and are not subscribed to this channel, now would be a fantastic time to do that because I have that brand new boat coming. You guys are gonna love it. I'm standing on a 41 Bahama that I make a lot of content with and I'm gonna continue to make a lot of content with. So this channel is everything boats, but enough about that. Let's go ahead and start cleaning the boat. All right, so first things first, the items that you need to properly clean your boat, there's not a lot of them, but what you are gonna need, the first is water, a hose. One thing I wanna say about the hose is you're gonna wanna have a hose nozzle, putting your thumb there to spray is just not gonna work very well. Get yourself these cheap little plastic, you know, $5 hose nozzles that, you know, you push and the water comes out. And the reason I say that is because I see people that go out and buy the expensive stainless steel, aluminum, whatever it might be ones. And those are great, but not for a boat. When you're cleaning, the hose nozzle is gonna be dropped occasionally. It's gonna fall from where you put it. It's gonna be hitting your fiberglass. And if you have one of those steel ones, steel is harder than fiberglass and that will ding up your fiberglass, mark it up, take little nicks and dings out of it. This little plastic one is soft plastic that is way softer than the fiberglass. So I, this thing can fall all over the deck and I do not have to worry about it marking up the deck or dinging up the gel coat or anything like that. So there's your little hint for hoses. Get the cheap plastic nozzles. You'll, you'll thank me later. I know a lot of people get the full rubber ones you twist. Those work as well too, but I prefer the plastic. The second thing you're gonna need is boat soap. This bad boy right here. Um, and there's actually two different soaps you might need depending on how you care for your boat. If your boat is ceramic coated, you're gonna wanna use a special soap for that. If your boat is not ceramic coated and you just have a coat of wax on it, then you have a lot more options when it comes to soap. And I know most of the people watching this video, the boat's not gonna be ceramic coated like this one is. It's just gonna be regular wax. If it's regular wax, there's a ton of different soaps out there. I have personal favorites. If it's up to me, I'm only using two soaps. The first is Smooth, S-M-O-O-V-E. I think Smooth is some of the best soap in the industry. And the second one is going to come as a surprise to many, but there's a guy over at Treasure Key who was obsessed with finding the best boat soap, so he went and sent a ton of soaps to a lab to get him um, checked out and the ingredients um, measured and all that good stuff and actually came up with Turtle Wax. The Turtle Wax soap that you can go buy at Walmart is actually some of the, that thunder's getting strong, I better hurry up. But that Turtle Wax soap is very, very good. So if it's up to me, Turtle Wax or Smooth. Those are my two soaps I'm getting. If your boat is ceramic coated like this, you're not gonna wanna use regular soap. You're gonna wanna use a special soap. I have DNA service concepts in Riviera Beach do all the ceramic work on this boat. And so I use their products. This is their detox soap. Basically what it is, it's a very mild soap that has silica in it. And silica is um, aquaphobic and so, oh, I think that's the word. I forget what the word is, but it's where the water just is gonna beat off of it nicely. So it's just a little boost to the ceramic coating. And it's a pretty light soap because it doesn't have to be a heavy soap. The ceramic coating already does a fantastic job at just, you know, everything washing away with just water. So if you have a ceramic coating, make sure you're using a soap that's good for that. And the last thing that I wanna mention about the soaps and everything is you should not be washing your boat with soap every time you wash your boat. Yes, if you're going out fishing and you get fish blood and guts or it gets salt everywhere, yes, use the soap, 
that soap is gonna break down the salt and all the other stuff way easier than not. But if you're just going on a cruise, maybe took spray here and there, do not use soap, just spray it down with water. If you have a proper ceramic coating on the boat or a proper wax job, soap is just gonna hurt that. If a proper wax and ceramic, any of the salt and anything should rinse right off with just water. So do not soap your boat every time. Just hose it down with water and then dry it off afterwards. That's all you need. It's raining now. I'm hoping the rain stops. If it doesn't, I'm gonna go inside and finish the materials part of this video. Alrighty, that was quite the rain and the spot where I had the camera sitting is now soaking wet. So I'm just gonna hold the camera for the rest of this part. Um, but I left off just after soap. I wanna make one more little comment about soap and that is do not use dish soap. I see it happen all too often. Dish soap will strip the wax on the boat, which is not what you want. The wax is there to protect your paint, to protect your gel coat. Do not use dish soap. Okay, but on to the next thing you need. The next is pretty simple. You need a bucket. Any bucket will do. I have a bucket here, a standard West Marine bucket. You know, personally, my, my choice of bucket is the Yeti bucket. It's one of the few products that Yeti make that I honestly think is worth the money. It's heavy enough where you can leave it on the deck and it's not gonna fly away when you're running, you know, 40 knots. It's got rubber feet so it won't mark up the deck. It's a little bit insulated so you can hold ice in it. It's $50, which is a lot for a bucket, but in the grand scheme of the boating world, it's not that much money and I do think it's worth it. And then to actually wash the boat, you're either gonna need brushes or mitts. What I'm gonna say about this is that Start with the absolute softest one that you can. And by that I mean, literally start with a microfiber. This is just a microfiber mitt. And the reason for that is because, you know, the more hard you go on the brush, the harder the bristles, um, the harder it is on your gel coat and the easier that will take off your, um, your, your wax, your ceramic coating, you know? The harder ones that made to really get in there and scrub and get the grime out of the non-skid and all that stuff. And it does a good job of that, but it also does a good job at taking off all the wax and scratching up your gel coat as well. So start with the absolute softest one you can. You know, I mentioned earlier how most times you should just be hosing down the boat with water, I'm not even using soap. So good practice is literally, assuming you are using soap, Hose it down, soap it off, and to apply the soap, literally all you want to do is take a microfiber and rub it around, you know, the gunnel sides, the deck, the, all that stuff. Essentially, the only thing that's really doing is getting the soap into the nooks and crannies of the boat. You don't want to be actively, you know, scrubbing and working it in there unless you ultimately need to be. And so use the softest you can microfiber if that is not enough if you need a little bit more scrubbing action because maybe your wax isn't up to where you know to perfection or maybe there's a couple hard spots you know then i would go to a brush and i would start with you know the softest brush you can find this is a sure hold blue brush the blue and the sure hold product lines is soft it you know i i don't do it but i could even use that soft brush on this ceramic and i'd probably be just fine um do that if that doesn't you know, do the trick at that point you can move up to you know something a little more firm that's the sure hold yellow brush the yellow brush is more firm but if you are going to use the yellow brush what i'm going to tell you is try to only use it on the non-skid do not use it on the smooth fiberglass if you do not have to you abs if you keep your ceramic up or your wax up like you should you'll never have to use the, the yellow on the smooth gel coat or paint. I'm telling you that right now, you'll never have to. But if, if you kind of let that slip and you ultimately have to, be sure to take care after you're done with it to go back over and really wax or do whatever you need to do in that spot to make sure that it's protected going forward because the more firm brushes, as I said, it will take off some of that you know, protective coating over it. And so that's pretty much you know, it for the actual wash thing. The only last thing I'm gonna say on other things you need is a chamois to dry the boat. Chamois are towels. I prefer to use these white towels. That's a product of DNA service concepts. They're the people who do our ceramic. Um, but you wanna, 
you absolutely want to dry the boat in almost every situation. Unless you have a water purifier, you know, a spot zero system, um, you're gonna wanna dry the boat because the water has, you know, stuff in it, particles in it. And when the water dries, it's gonna leave water spots on your boat. And water spots build up over time and they can become very difficult to get them out. And really the only way to get them out isn't to go in, really strip the boat of everything at that point and then rebuild up with, you know, a compound, polish, wax, X, Y, Z. And so nip that one in the bud from the start, dry your boat every single time. Do not let water spots build up because they will become a thorn in your side. Now there's two parts to that. There is the thing called the Spot Zero. There's a couple companies that make it. Spot Zero is the biggest, it's owned by Dometic. It's a water purifier. You hook it up to your hose and the water runs through it and it purifies it down to extremely clean water. I think it's like sub, you know, 10 parts per million or something like that. And basically, if you have one of those, you can afford to spray the boat down completely with that water, sit, let it dry, there's not gonna be a single water spot on the boat. So if you can afford one of those, it's well worth it. We actually just ordered one new one for this boat. Um, it's gonna make my life way easier, but they are expensive. They're like $5,000. So weigh your options there. If you can afford it, it makes, it makes your life way easier. If not, don't worry about it. Just take an extra 30 minutes and dry the boat yourself with a chamois or a towel. Um, past that, the process itself is super, super easy. You know, it's just like washing a car. You know, rinse it down, get the soap on it. Don't scrub, like I said, if you don't have to. Rinse it down again and dry. There's nothing special to the actual process itself except for the order in which you should be doing the steps. And when I say that, top to bottom, front to back. And the reasoning is you don't wanna clean an area, get it all clean, and then, you know, you don't. I don't wanna clean the deck. Get the deck 100% clean, and then after that, decide to go up and clean the T-top that's dirty because all that dirty that I just cleaned up the T-top is just gonna fall right back down onto my clean deck. So you wanna go with the way of gravity. So go top down, you know, I'll do my T-top first, work my way down so that the deck is the last thing that I clean because everything's gonna fall onto the deck. And then top down, forward back, and I say that because boats are made to self bail and so water is naturally gonna flow back to the cockpit where your scuppers are and so if I spray the hose in the bow, the water's gonna run all the way back to the cockpit of the boat. So top down, front and back. Use gravity to your advantage so you don't have to clean the same spot over again because dirty water or particles or palm fronds, leaves, whatever it is, just fell on the part you just cleaned. Top down, front back. It's very easy. And so that's really it when it comes to the basic cleanings on your boat. It's not hard once you know basically what to do. You know, not to scrub, the lightest brush you can find, even microfiber, top down, front to back, um, the proper soaps to use. It's not a hard process at all. Now, once you get into the more advanced stuff, you know, waxing the boat, polishing the boat, keeping up a ceramic coating, that's a whole different situation and something that I'm more than happy to make a video on if y'all wanna see it. But this video, I just wanted to be short and simple about how to properly just clean a boat for the everyday human and the boat they're on. Um, I think there's really not much more for me to cover. You know, it's, it's a self-explanatory process. So with that being said, I said it at the beginning of the video, if you like boats, if you like the channel, please subscribe. It's a big help to me. Like the video, that helps me as well. But that's all I have to say. So I will catch you guys in the next video where I think it might be a little something different. I think a video from a South American country, not positive yet, but I think that's what the next video is gonna be. But. I'll see you in the next one.